Hello, welcome to Murphy's Kitchen. Healthy cooking, it's a lifestyle here. Hello, welcome back once again to my space and my kitchen, Murphy's Farms. I hope everyone is doing wonderfully well. Today recipe and the video, I'm sharing how I made this beautiful, delicious akako and with my banana. So let's jump into the video. So I have my seasons, my vegetables, all my uh, spices, everything is well washed and I'm going to blend this together. So after blended, I added some white powder, pepper and all seasoned powder. You can use any kind of spices or seasons of your choice. Here I have my overripe banana and I'm going to use this for my akakro today. We normally use the overripe banana for banana pancake, banana bread and so many. But today I'm using it for my akakro, kakro or banana flatter so it's all washed well and i'm going to take off the skin so you can see my banana is overripe but they are still white they are still white and beautiful so if your banana is brown you can still go ahead and use it but it will not be beautiful after the akako or the banana flutter as you see from this video at this point, I'm just going to add some of my blended ingredients into my local blender. This is what in my country we used to blend our stuff. We also have blender as well, but this is our local blender. So I added some of my ingredients and I've added my banana. I'm going to blend them and since banana is soft, I prefer to use this. You can also use blender to blend them. But make sure you use the pause part of the blender because you don't want to over blend the banana. I'm adding some acid, uh, citrus acid to this. This is lemon to prevent the banana or after my banana akako from turning brown. Because after taking the skin of banana, they turn brown quickly. So I want to prevent that. So that is the reason why I added the lemon juice and it doesn't affect it at all the taste is the same i'm just adding my all purpose in flour to combine everything together you can use any kind of flour of your choice but i did use all purpose flour so i will just continue mixing it and banana is soft or lighter than plantain so you may need a little bit more flour to combine them together i added some oil to my pan frying pan or to my pan i added just cut onions for flavor so the onions are optional look at how beautiful the color of my banana mixture beautiful so the lemon will prevent it from turning brown and it's gonna make this flatter or the akako beautiful so i'll keep turning and frying this on both sides until they are super brown so after some minutes the mixture is still white and beautiful to my old subscribers thank you and appreciate you all for your support and if you are new here please subscribe and support Mumphy's kitchen to grow so i'll continue to repeat the same process until i am all done so i always prefer to squeeze some of the oil out and after that i will add it into my colander that have pepper towel for the pepper towel also to absorb the rest of the oil from the akako so at this point i'm just going to give a tip if your banana mixture is too pale so for you or too white you can add a little bit of uh, palm oil or red oil to give you a little bit yellowish color of your akako look at how beautiful yes so this banana akako was delicious it was beautiful look at this so thank you so so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video and the recipe please like share subscribe hit all notification bell 
so that anytime i upload a video you get a notification and i'll see you guys on my next video take care and i love you all bye y'all